very first rhymes, songs, and yoga. I'm so glad you are here for the first time we are together. We're just gonna practice moving our bodies and feeling nice and strong. Do you think you can do that with me? Do the strong arms and really roar out the word strong? Okay, let's do it. Strong! Wow, that was impressive. You guys are really strong. And whenever we meet, we're always going to start with the same song. And we start the song by marching. So do you think you can march with me? Very good. We're all here today. We're all here today. Let's clap our hands and sing together. Hip, hip, hooray. Let's do it one more time. We're all here today. We're all here today. Let's clap our hands and sing together. Hip, hip, hooray. I am so excited. Yay! Now our next song, we're going to practice moving in lots of different ways. But the first way we start is by stretching up towards the ceiling. Do you think you can reach up high? Good. You gotta stretch, stretch, stretch up to the ceiling. Reach down and tickle your toes. Shake your hands from side to side. That's how the warm up goes. Now nod your head to the music. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your nose. Say hello to all your friends. That's how the warm up goes. Now let's all play peek a -boo. Let's clap our hands together too. Act like a monkey in the zoo. A cheeky little monkey. Just like you, we're gonna stretch, stretch, stretch up to the ceiling. Reach down and tickle your toes. Shake your hands from side to side. That's how the warm up goes. Now nod your head to the music. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your nose. Say hello to all your friends. That's how the warm up goes. Yeah, that's how the warm up goes. Very nice. Okay, now we're gonna do our flannel board. And if you look here, we have a really tall wall. And sitting up on top is Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. He was too fragile. That means he breaks very easily. Eggs are really fragile. And now we're gonna get ready to do our nursery rhyme, Humpty Dumpty, yoga style. So let's get ready. Are you ready to have some more fun? Okay. All right, everybody, let's wind up our yoga class. Stretch out your legs really wide. Stretch out your arms really, really, really wide. And we're gonna go side to side. Here we go. Everybody, let's wind up our ears. Tick, tock, little yoga clock. Tick, tock, little yoga clock. Tick, tock, little yoga clock. And freeze. Everybody, let's wind up our ears. Tick, tock, little yoga clock. Tick, tock, little yoga
Everybody line up your mouth. <laughs> and line up your shoulders. And line up your hair. Scrunch, 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 scrunch. All right, everybody. We're going to wind up our clocks, but a little bit slower this time. Our clocks need rewinding, so stretch out your arms very slowly. Here we go. Tick, tock, little yoga clock. is an egg and eggs are very wobbly. So here we go. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. So balance out. If you're sitting on a wall, hold it there. Okay. Humpty Dumpty had a great ball. All the king's horses tabletop and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Okay, so now we're going to get ready for our book. And during this rhyme, we're going to practice tree pose. So we'll start by planting our right foot. Put it down really strongly on the ground. Spread out your toes. Now you're going to grab your other foot, your left foot, whoo, and put it up against your thigh if you can. And stand like this. So, put your hands in the air like a tree. Move them like they're swaying in the breeze. Very well done. Now let's put that foot down. We're going to do it on the other side. Now I'm not as balanced on my left leg as I am on my right, so I'm gonna keep my foot down like this and you can do the same. So put your hands in the air like a tree and move them like they're swaying in the breeze. Now put your hands on your thighs, put your hands out wide and swing them from side to side. Make your hands go round. Now put your hands on the ground. Everyone sit right down. Our book today is Stretch by Doreen Cronin. Stretch with me, hands in the air. Can you help me count to three? One, two, three. Hold it right there. Stretch high for a snack in the trees. Yummy apples. Stretch out wide for a ride on the breeze. Can you stretch to the ceiling? Can you stretch to the floor? You can stretch with a whisper. You can stretch with a roar. Roar. I can stretch underwater. I can stretch on a wave. I can stretch on a surfboard if I'm very, very brave. Sit. 
Some will stretch to show you feathers. Some will stretch to show you spots. A stretch that goes a stretch too far might tie you up in knots. Look at the poor cat, all tangled up with the yarn. A yawn is a stretch that starts deep down inside. It travels up into your mouth and makes it open wide. It's making me want to yawn right now. If I were an inchworm, I'd stretch from place to place. If I were an astronaut, I'd stretch in outer space. I'd stretch my lungs to take a breath, then blow out nice and slow. A bubble will stretch and stretch until there's no room left to grow. Can you shout this out with me? Pop! Look, he has gum all over his face. If you stretch with me and I stretch with you, we'll stretch twice as far. Who knows what we can do? And that is the end of our book. And if you look at the back here, you can see all these different yoga poses. We'll practice some together, but some of these you might have to practice on your own. Like this one, he's upside down. Can you stretch with me? Good, let's start. Take a deep breath in and we'll count to three. One, two, three. Now blow out your breath. Can you stretch up high for a snack in the trees? Stretch up high. Can you stretch out wide and catch the wind in the breeze? I'm gonna turn this way. Can you stretch to the floor? Bring your arms out like this. Oh, you're a down dog. Stretch, oh, it feels so good. I'm gonna get down into mouse pose. Can you stretch with a whisper? Scapper lion, can you stretch with a roar? Roar! Let's get up on our surfboards and catch a wave. Put our foot out, our right foot out like this. Left foot back, arms out, then we're gonna bend our knee right over our big toe like that. We're catching a wave on our surfboard. They were very, very brave. Woo! Well, let's catch the wave going this way. Turn your other foot out, your left foot out. Put your arms up, bend your knee. And again, here we are on our surfboard. Say, I'm brave. Now, we're gonna get down low and be our teeny tiny inchworm and stretch from place to place. So you lay flat on your belly, put your hands under your shoulders and arch up like this. And we'll stretch from place 
to place. And now we're going to outer space. So stretch out like an astronaut floating among the stars. When we see stars twinkling, when we see your stars twinkle. Very good. And now we're going to stand straight and tall in mountain pose. Stretch up high. Bring your hands in. And we're going to take in a great big breath and stretch our lungs out, just like the bubble in our story. Ready? Keep breathing in. A little bit more. And pop. Let all that air out. Okay, so this next song is a lot of fun. And when we start off, you're going to be like, hey, I know that song. But. As we keep singing, it's going to get crazy. Just wait. So we're going to start off with our heads. You guess what song it is? That's right. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Now for this verse, we're going to do feet, tummy, arms, and chin. Are you ready for that? Feet, tummy, arms, and chin, arms, and chin. Feet, tummy, arms, and chin, arms, and chin. Eyes and ears and mouth and chins. Feet, tummy, arms and chin, arms and chin. Now we're going to do hands, fingers, legs, and lips. That's right. Hands, fingers, legs, and lips. Legs and lips. Hands, fingers, legs, and lips. Legs and lips. Eyes and ears and mouth and hips. Hands, fingers, legs and lips. Legs and lips. Woo! Way to go. There's no trick in you. All right, boys and girls. Our time together is drawing to a close. And we're going to learn our closing song. And in order to sing our song, we're going to learn how to spell the word yoga. And we're going to use our hands to do that. So, Y O G A. Yoga. So let's practice again. Here's our Y O G A. One more time. Y O G A. Let's begin our song. Y O G A. Y O G A Om sweet om Om sweet om Sitting and stretching Sitting and stretching Come and learn Come and learn Y O G A Y O G A Om sweet om Om sweet om, sit twisting and turning, twisting and turning, come and learn, come and learn. And now we're going to lay down in what is called resting pose. So you'll lay all the way down and be as still as you can. And we're going to stay here and you can even close your eyes if you would like. And we're going to count to 10. And like I said, you're going to try and stay as still as you can. And let's count really quietly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Come up to 
to sitting again. It's nice to take a little break like that, especially if you're feeling tired or frustrated or sad or even hungry. So to end our practice, we're gonna put our hands like this in front of our heart. And we're gonna say, as we move our hands up to our head, peace in my mind, peace when I speak, and peace in my heart. And as we say that, we're gonna think about when we say peace in my mind, that's thinking good thoughts. When we say peace when I speak, that means we say kind words. And then peace in my heart means that we feel nice and calm. So let's practice that again, ready? Peace in my mind. Peace when I speak, and peace in my heart. Say it a little quieter. Peace in my mind, peace when I speak, and peace in my heart. Say it in your head now. Thank you so much for coming today. I can't wait till we meet again.